Hey friend, thanks for taking the time to join us today. I know that time is your most valuable commodity and we're so excited that you chose to spend it with me today on the Made Easy Method podcast. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about what we're going to be sharing and what you can anticipate from this show. And I'm really passionate to speak directly to women as I am one. And also for the men, I want to encourage you to stick around because you are going to have this show pay dividends for you. So it's so cool to understand the intricacy of a woman. Men are so simple. We'll be talking about that as I have more um, men guests that will be on as well. And you can anticipate we're going to be talking about topics that are a little heated. Uh, When I say that, I want you to know um, one of my personal passions is to unearth things that typically as women, you ask a woman, how are you? And that woman will say, I'm fine. Everything is fine. We're just fine. And the reality of it is we are not fine. We are at any given time working, multitasking, running, doing all the things. Have you ever seen the movie What Women Want when Mel Gibson can hear all the different conversations of all the women around him and he's like, ah. So stick around, guys. I think it would be really great for you to get some insight as well. We're going to be talking about relationships and family and really what creates that close bond. I often get asked, in fact, again, weekly about how are you so close with your kids? And in the last year and a half since losing my husband, I will tell you, um, it has been splintered. And I asked the kids, would you be open to coming on and really talking transparently about what that has looked like and how um, through counsel and commitment and that intentionality, really connecting and making time for each one of my kids and so that they feel seen, heard, and valued. And taking that into your relationships, whether it's in friendship, whether it's in your work relationship, whether it's with your spouse, um, your significant other, I think is really important. Uh, We're going to be talking about women in business and how you can uh, be a mom and also be a wife and wear all the hats that you wear and be a successful businesswoman and finding that margin in your life. I always think about balance as something that you swing through to the other extreme and really finding more of that meeting in the middle. We'll also be talking about women's sexual health. It's a topic that no one seems to want to talk about, and yet uh, I really am passionate about talking to my daughters and managing expectations and really wanting the very best for them. I wish that I would have known as a young woman what that all entailed. Uh, After, you know, before having babies, after having babies, we're going to be talking about women's health. When something's broken, you should fix it. And I'll be personally talking a little bit about that. We're going to be having um, a naturopath join us. We're going to have some other really incredible humans be a part of the show. So stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss out on it. We're going to be also talking about hormones and young women's hormones to what happens to your body when you have babies and then what happens to your body after that. And then, you know, going into premenopause and menopause and what you can do to really help yourself through the process. And not only that, but be a good girlfriend and be a good mom and be a good aunt or a Gigi or a grandmother and pay that forward. We're going to be talking about women's ministry and why I really feel that community is so impactful and also going through life and not doing it alone. Uh, Grief is a really big part of my story. And I used to feel really heavy about that. So we're going to be talking and having some people talk about grief. And I want you to maybe have the shift in your perspective like I recently had in mine. I think it's important to know that you, that joy and sadness are companions and you can't really experience or really enjoy and understand what one is without the other. And so I began to really unpack grief. And it's not always grief in losing your special someone. It's It could be grief in your next season of life. I remember before my husband passed away, I was grieving the fact that I was half of an empty nester. So we'll be talking about what that looks like and the different series and transitions in your life. We're going to be talking about women in leadership and why it is needed significantly, and how you can, as a woman who's experienced some life, can I get a witness, be a part of reaching down to that next younger generation and pulling them up and really being able to see them and value them and spend time with them. Um, 
you know, recently I was talking with a girlfriend the other day and I said, you know, there's just this unwritten rule that when you are an experienced woman, right, you're a seasoned woman, that you need to love on that next generation of women coming up and shame on you if you talk down to them, if you're not able to integrate and help be a part of teaching and loving them through their next walk of life, their next season. So you can expect to hear that and hear women who have done just that um, and really loved on women through the process. Um, I'm super excited to be able to talk to you about women in finances. You know, I used to do finances in my first marriage and obviously younger, I'd moved out really young and you get into relationships and, you know, one spouse is responsible for some different things. The other one's like, oh, well, these are my strong suits and how oftentimes those do not cross over. So in grief, really understanding like instantaneously, I was supposed to understand uh, the financial blueprint and I'm such the upfront person and the people person and the connector that this was a really significant pivotal shift in my life. And I want to empower you as a woman, also as a man, potentially a couple, uh, whether you're married or you're dating someone, to really take ownership and make finances a non-negotiable for yourself so that you always have... Um, a, a thumbprint, a fingerprint of what that looks like and why it's so important to be financially stable and to plan for the future. And planning both for successful things like vacations and time spent with your family and also disasters and things that you never saw coming that you could really, really add value to. So stick around. We are so excited to have you here. Again, I want to tell you, thank you for making the commitment to grow with us. Thank you for entrusting your time spent that you could pay this forward. If you're hearing some topics that you're like, yes, please, finally, I want to be able to connect the dots and really connect with other people and create this amazing community with the Made Easy Method. We're so excited to have you.